Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm in the shed and it is very hot, um, but today I'm talking about uh, pump track rules that you didn't know. So if you're new around here and this is the first video of mine you've watched, I'm a BMX racer. Uh, I've raced for about 10 years uh, and that does mean I'm quite old now. Um, but I do ride pump tracks also, which if you don't know what a pump track is, if you know what a BMX track is, then it's a smaller version of that. If you don't know what a BMX track is, then that is basically what I do on my channel. Um, <laughs> search up BMX racing, look at any other video on my channel. BMX track is uh, a track with loads of little jumps or big jumps, whatever, uh, and it's the quickest one round wins basically, as a normal race would be. Now you're caught up to speed with what I'm talking about. Pump tracks, if you've ridden them, you see on my channel that I ride them a lot. Um, there's some things that people do that are very annoying and if you knew that you shouldn't do them, then you wouldn't do with them. So, uh, let's, so let's get started on the first one. No matter how quick you are, how, how many times you've been to a pump track, how many times you've been to a BMX track, how many years you've been riding, if you're riding a pump track and there's someone slower, just give them some room. No need, you're, not, you're not proving anything to anyone. If there's some little kids, you don't need to fly past them unless you're already on a good run uh, and you can avoid them. Most kids will, if they see you coming, they'll try and get out of your way, but the best thing for them to do is just stay where they are. It's probably easier for you to avoid them than them to avoid you because you know more. So uh, yeah, but just remember that if you want to be at a match track and you're quicker than people, just give them some room. If they've just gone, give them some room. If someone else is trying to jump you in the queue to go, just, just, just kick them over. No, don't kick them over, but you know what I mean. Just try and get in front of them. Make sure you've got some room to uh, do your run because you want to make sure you've got, you're going to have a good run. You don't want to catch them up halfway around, um, especially on a smaller track. So when you do come across these kids, because you will on these pump tracks, um, they will be going slower than you. Even if they're on a Strider or like a small bike, just they're just more inexperienced, and especially if they haven't got a helmet on, if you hit them, that's gonna hurt. Kids will stop randomly on pump tracks and BMX tracks when they're open, um, because they'll just they'll just get up. Even if they're not gonna make it up a hill, they'll do that, they'll stop, roll back down. Uh, if they're, they'll just stop. I'll, I'll put in some clips now. I see it every time I go to a pump track. Uh, the people will just, the kids will just stop, and then they'll be just sitting there, and then they won't even look around to go. If you do stop like that, you want to move out of the way, and then when you go, make sure you look behind you to see if anyone else is coming. That's that's the same if you're quick as well. If if I'm going around, I'll always check. This. I'll always check. I'm not going to take out a kid when I drop into a berm or any jump because that you know that's not fun for anyone, and uh, it, it really ruins your day. <laughs> that's you as a rider. But on the other side, if you're a parent and you take your kid to a track. Uh, just ha even if you haven't got a clue about pump track, right? And you don't, then you're just going there to ride, right? You're just going there for your kid to get out of the house to ride the track, a track, do some exercise, whatever. Just have a look, right? So, for example, Harrow Pump Track. I'll put a videos on screen. You would have seen videos already of it. Um, it's got a big line around the outside, and the inside is a bit more technical, but it's less less fast basically it's not as quick um, because around the outside they've got the back straight where there's a uh, three triples which people are going to try and jump um, and you just don't want your kid involved in that really uh, neither do any of the riders any of us that are trying to jump them you want to be coming around and hitting some kid on a little strider um, because they're just they've been sent around by their parents um, another thing just tell your kids to look around if they're going to stop where i said earlier if they're going to stop just look around before they go because the worst thing is when you're trying to avoid a kid that's just stopped there which is annoying enough um, then they just pull away and just like yeah it's many problems as a rider you'll have kids that are just uh, they'll just chuck the bike, chuck the scooter, chuck the skateboard, roller skates, what else? Segway, I haven't seen that. Um, they'll just chuck that and they'll jump out of the way. They, 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 they're all for themselves, though, these kids. <laughs> if you're a parent, don't send your kid on the big line. Ch just evaluate the track. If there's one line, then that's all we can do. You can only send them on one line. But if there's a bigger line around the outside and a smaller one on the inside, at least start them off on that uh, smaller line and see how it goes. See if they're ready for the big line. If they can even make it up the jumps, that would help. Because back to Harrow again, uh, on the back straight of the inside, so there's three tracks, I guess. There's three lines of it in, going in. Um, you've got a table step up, which is quite a steep, tall um, takeoff, especially even for me, it's tall. So um, for a small little kid, making it, keeping the speed to then get up there and having the confidence is gonna gonna be a problem. So even that, just just stand there and help them up. Just 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 don't get in the way. I spoke about kids stopping on the BMX track, but you, if you're a decent rider and you can hold yourself up, you're not, and you're about you know 12 or 15, whatever age. 
stage. Uh, if you can ride a bike and you've ridden pump tracks confidently, you don't stop either. Because then, even if there's a group of you as well, that's even worse because you'll stop at the end of a straight, then your friends start stopping, and then, but then no one can get past. And for other people that aren't in your group that can ride as well, uh, that's more annoying because I'm coming through and I'm like, well, the track's blocked now. Uh, I want to do, I want to do a sweet jump there, <laughs> um, but I can't because they will, you will just sit in there. So don't do that either. Uh, and when you pull off, have a look, yeah? There you go, there's some rules that you maybe didn't know or should know about pump tracks. If you want to view any of my pump track videos, just go on my channel. Maybe every third video is a pump track video. Um, they're very good, pump tracks are very good. If, you didn't, if you've never ridden a pump track, go and ride a pump track. If you've never ridden a BMX track, go and ride a BMX track. Maybe maybe pump track first, but there's some, there's some more technical pump tracks than BMX tracks. BMX tracks, you've got much more room to ride. So um, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, click the like button and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Ah, the roof don't drop, so we poking out of the sunroof. No AC, no MP3, only CDs. Tell me what you want to do. If I don't make it, please don't fake it. You got me if I got you. I got this spot too, that I go to when the sun is up. The grass is green, there ain't no TV screen. Only blue skies, please use your imagination. Tell me what you dream. And I picture you and I on the scene. But are you snapping? Cause I ain't getting cream from serving packets on the block to fiend.